uh, hi guys uh, welcome to my channel for another video uh, if you have not seen my previous video so please check the description and click on the link to uh, see the video hi friends uh, in our previous video uh, we did able to build a function that allow user to add items to their card what it mean when user click on plus sign what it does it add this item to their shopping cart right and then in this video what we are going to do we want to show the total count of unique items that they have to their shopping cart if they have five unique items in their shopping cart i will go ahead and display that count over here and then the icon of the shopping cart okay if they are not signed in they will not able to see the count over here so if they click on the cart here it will route to the login page if they are not signed in if they are signed in then they will able to see individual item over here right and then the total uh, count of each item so to do that uh, what we are going to do here uh, we'll go ahead open our visual studio all right let's stop the project over here and then we'll go to our home controller right uh, in our home controller right when home page is loading so we need to show the count right so here what we'll do we'll go ahead and get the user id and then load the total items in the user card right with the id so then we know how many items for that user what i mean if i open my database right here you can see this user has almost 12 items right here but he bought each item for multiple times so we're not we're not going to add quantity here we're only going to count the id okay uh, because the each id is containing the product id right you can see this id is with this product and it was bought for six times right so we'll go ahead and get the count of the ids and then display on the card so to do that what we need to do uh we need to have uh signed in manager and then the user manager right so you can see i did add it this two line over here if you have not added please do add that so with this one we will check if user is signed in or not well, right if user signed in right then we use this one to get the id of the sign in user so please do add this two line on your home controller face right and then add the constructor add this to the constructor right so here you see we adding over here and then also in the parameter right there so you can see over here as well okay so once you do that go down over here as you know now we have option to check if user is signed in or not right so i will put bar claim equal to i will use our sign in manager dot is signed in i'll put user okay it will check if user is signed in uh if they are signed in we can get the user id here okay so here i'll put bar user id equal to underscore user manager dot get user id here i'll put user okay so we have now user id here i will get the total count of the item so i'll put bar count equal to i'll call our database user cards that should be underscore db dot user cards dot where you post to you dot user id dot contains user id dot count okay so now you can see uh we are getting the count of this user id in our database and the user cards table okay and then so since we have that now, now our plan is to use session right so then when user signed in and on that session we will go ahead and display the count of the items okay uh, let's go ahead and uh, implement it to do that what i'm going to do i'm going to add a one folder over here okay let's click on new folder i'll put utility folder uh, under this folder i'll create a class which name is um let's say cart count and i'll put this as a static class okay static and here i'll have a, a string all right so now we have the helper class over here for counting the cart right and what i'm doing here i'll go over here and then add the session okay so HTTP context 
okay dot session dot set int32 all right so what we did here let me add this utility here you see here we have to add this also so so now uh what we did we have the count of the card here and then this is the key with the session okay so we also need to add this to our uh, program.cs files so here i have my program.cs file opened so what are we going to do i'll go type app dot use session okay and then here i'll go ahead and add this code here what we are doing here we are setting up the time for this for the session okay so once we are done over here what we also need to do we need to go use our layout page right here right uh, in our layout page we need to add this card to the navbar so this is our navbar list right here we need to add a add card to this list okay so i will go ahead copy the code and put it over here what we did we did inject http context accessor right so you see here we are having a red mark so we need to inject it right so go on all the top hit enter and type this to line over here okay and now if you go down you can see we do not have error now after injecting this to line and then you see we have a card helper which is not showing over this should be card count okay so i'll put card count over here uh this class right here and then here i'll also put card count and then i'll go ahead and add this to our base So if you go up now, right there, you will see a, our folder got added over here, right? And we will still see error over here. So it should not be count. It should be dot, should be session count, okay? Dot session count. All right, now you do not see any error. So we are so far done adding our cart in our navbar list, okay? So here, what we are doing, um, we are getting if the cart is not null, right? We'll go ahead and get in here and then we will display the cart, right? We'll go ahead and display the cart over here. Let me go right, then you can copy everything. What I'll do, I'll put this style on the bottom, right? And then let's do this thing over here. So now you have a full view of our lines for the code, okay? So what we are doing here, uh, we have a link, the anchor tag over here inside that anchor tag we are setting up the count from the session right we're getting the count and then displaying this count over here on the card and this is the icon for the card this is the icon for the card okay so let me click on build i'll show you how it looks okay uh no failed i'll go ahead and run the code over here uh, okay friends so you can see our project loaded here so here you can see the icons for card and then the count for items in the cart, okay? As we said, only the signed in user will be able to see the count, right? So let's go ahead and log in to our application. I'll put my username and password here. Doing submitting and we are logged in and you can see this user has three items in the cart, right? So let me show you the database. So here our application database and then we created this user card so um, i'll go ahead and click 1000 rows over here and you do see we have three items and the three items is the unique item but one item was added for multiple times so let me go ahead and add one more items to our card to see if uh, if number got increased or not let's go add this one okay now you see we have a debug point add to card this uh this one we did i think in our previous video so please go check it all right, so click on continue. All right, so let's go back to our card and you can see we have four items now. All right, so uh, our function is working uh, fine. And now what we're going to do, we're going to log out here. But uh, if you do see when I click on logged out, uh, it is logged out, but we still see uh, four items over here. So we need to end the session. We need to clear the session after user logged out. So let's go ahead and do it. I'll go stop the project. Uh, this is the logout function under our account controller. Uh, here I will type HTTP context dot 
session okay dot clear you can see uh, we did able to clear it out now let me run the project again so our page loaded uh, i'll go ahead and sign into our application so this is my username and password Now you do see we have four items here because uh, we added four items to our card. So, uh, let us see if we can add one more item, okay? Click on this, click continue. We have a debug point here. And now you do see we have the updated count over here. So if we open our database and then execute it, and you also can see the five items in our database, okay? And uh, we also did implement a uh, session to get clear out when we click on logout, right? Um, before we click on logout, in our next video, what we're going to do, we'll go ahead and implement tension where user click on this, then it will display a page with these five items, okay? And then from that page, user can submit a order to buy all the items, okay? So let us check if our uh, logout session also get clear out when we click on logout okay so let me go click logout now you do see session with this user got clear out okay thank you for watching the video see you in the next tutorial please do share like and subscribe the channel thank you bye